always keep a job, honey. That's the one thing about me. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Josie. I'm a registered nurse um, in the ICU, but I did not get there overnight, okay? So in some of my other videos, I've mentioned some of the jobs that I've had in the past, whether it was before I was in nursing school or while I was in nursing school. So I decided to comprise a list of jobs that are really good for nursing students or people interested in healthcare in general. And maybe you are not sure if you wanna do nursing and you just wanna like try out some different jobs. Um, in the healthcare field, this can kind of help you decide if nursing is like kind of for you or um, a career in healthcare. So I'm just going to run down really quickly the list of jobs that I have personally had in healthcare and which one of those jobs like made me really want to be a nurse and which ones made me really not want to be a nurse. And then I'll like throw out some more jobs that I think are good for nursing students or people interested in that path. So the first job I had in healthcare, I worked at a chiropractic slash physical therapy office. Cause at the time, so before nursing, I thought I wanted to do like physical therapy. So I was in like PT school. That's a whole other story. I guess my job title was like, just like floor tech kind of thing. Cause like people would come in there and like do their little exercises before they like had got treatment. So I would just like guide them through them a little bit. And that was like a really simple job. It was like a nine to five office job. We used to get like hour lunches and I would like lay on the massage bed for my whole hour lunch and just, Next, after that, I was a scribe in the emergency department. So that job pays terribly. And most of the people that do that job, I feel like are pre-med and like pre-PA students who really want like, I guess that's like a requirement for some of those programs or like they can work really closely with the doctor so they can get like a doctor, write them a recommendation letter for grad school or med school. Um, but I loved that job because I saw so much in the emergency department, like you see some crazy things. And I think that was the first time I was like, wow, I think I wanna be a nurse because I would like see what the nurses did too. And I was like, okay, I'm kind of like feeling this, you know, this environment. So that's a really good job. The hours are pretty, like you can kind of make your own schedule with that job. Like you just pick and choose the days and it's really easy to like swap shifts with the other scribes. So that's a pretty flexible job to have. Like I think almost all the other scribes were also in school at the same time like undergrad and stuff. So that's like a good job to have just to get some medical exposure and you learn a lot about like medical terminology as well and building rapport with like doctors because you like talk with the doctor all the time and like the nurses and just it's it's a really cool entry level job to like give yourself some exposure to the medical field. So after I did that job, I worked as a like a PCT, so slash CNA. I didn't have my CNA license, but I was like a patient care tech on a med surge telefloor, and I worked PRN overnight. This job was probably the job that almost made me decide I didn't want to go to nursing because it was so hard. The patient, that we had so many patients on that floor, and it was like sometimes two to three techs for like a floor of like 40 patients. These patients need to go to the bathroom. These patients, you have to do blood sugars. You have to do baths you have to do vitals you have to do everything so it was definitely a challenging job and this job really made me like question my whole existence i was i would go home after work and be like wow but that was like a good more i feel like a more realistic experience of like what nursing can be like especially if you're like bedside nursing inpatient facility hospital kind of thing i feel like that job taught me a lot about like working hard too and not just being pretty <laughs> no i'm just kidding so while i had that job i simultaneously worked at a outpatient behavioral health living facility so this was a place where people with um, like mental health issues lived um like permanently and my job was as like a residential advocate and i would just sit in the office and they would have to come to the office to like take their medication so this was a big job on adherence um, because a lot of um, psych or behavioral health patients relapse because they like don't stick to their medication regimen. This job, I really didn't understand it too much at the time until I later worked in some other psych jobs, how important it is to really like 
um, adhere to like a medication regimen for like these uh, patient this patient population but I worked that job simultaneously when I worked overnight so they were both PRN or per diem um, so uh, some nights I would like get off work working the hospital like just go like sleep for 10 minutes and have to go straight to the other job but the other job was like mad chill like the patients would come in in the morning for their morning meds and then i would just be in the office all day i could like sleep because it was like usually two people and everyone there who worked there was so chill they'd be like oh you gotta go run some errands go i'll hold it down like people were so cool there i love that job the patients were cool i braided one of the patient's hair one time like it was just a chill environment so after that i went to the nursing program that i graduated from which was a uh, two-year um, ADN program at a state college so I was able to work pretty much the entire time that I was in nursing school I didn't work for like the first semester like until the end of the first semester but then I got a job at a behavioral health hospital this is like strictly like acute care type of behavioral health not like um, outpatient care um, and I worked overnight I just like working nights I worked overnight as a mental health technician this job was like probably my first, no, I've had full-time. This was probably one of the most long, like longest full-time jobs I've had. The patients there were just off the chain. Like I'm not even gonna lie. We had physical altercations. Patients will throw all kinds of things at you. They'll cuss you out. Patients are in manic episodes. So this job really gave me an idea of like how, cause we'd have patients come in and like then they get back on their medication regimen and like a few days later they're completely di like they would come in throwing like their period pad at you and then a few days later you'll tell them what they were doing they were like me what because they like are off their medication but this was a good job because like like i said i worked nights i was in nursing school sometimes i would be able to bring some of my work and like read my books and stuff during the nighttime but not always like some patients some patients do not sleep at all like 24 7 they're up psych is definitely an unpredictable kind of environment to work in but i worked that job pretty much up until i graduated i ended up quitting that job like before i even made it a year there and i got a different job like a different job in the same field like just at a different facility and i worked days there instead of nights and it was a little bit better the last job that i had right before graduating nursing school i was a nurse extern so a nurse extern is a really good job to have as like in your last year or semester of nursing school because you're like in between being like the nurse and like the nurse tech so like you can kind of do a lot of stuff um the nurse sometimes will let you do things with them your main role is kind of like as a tech but you can still do other things as well um my nurse extern job i learned to draw blood really well because the techs on the unit that i was working on drew all the labs so i felt like i got really strong doing that so that was like a good a plus about that job so some other jobs in healthcare phlebotomist is like a really good job i think if because you'll learn to draw labs as well any kind of like pct cna nurse tech like i mentioned a medical assistant so i know some people in my program who like were medical assistants and they worked at um like nine to five type clinics or doctor's offices so that's usually a good job especially if they know you're in school they can be kind of like flexible with you if you're like an emt i know emt programs are pretty short i want to say some of them are like three months so or like a few weeks so if you do that before you go to nursing school and you know you want to like do that while you're in school that's kind of like a good flexible job to have uh, being a unit secretary pharmacy tech i think is also a pretty good job you kind of get to see that other some other sides of the hospital system if you can get a job too in like the lab like where they do the labs i feel like that would be a really cool job i applied for a job like that one time but i think they were like oh you don't have a, a strong enough science background like i like my, i didn't major in like biology or chemistry so but i was like i can learn please i really was like interested in seeing like what do they do in the lab how do they like take apart the bottles and run everything in the centrifuge so if you can like get a job do in like the lab like in a hospital i feel like that, like as a lab tech that seems like a pretty cool job home health as well like being like home health aides i feel like that's a good job too so you have to be flexible in nursing school so i wouldn't recommend getting any kind of full-time job that you had like a nine to five type full-time job like i had full-time jobs but they were like three twelves and i worked nights so i had a lot of time in between of course it's anything is doable 
you can do whatever you put your mind to so it's not impossible but um that's just some like ideas and jobs you can get while you're in school or while you're preparing to go to nursing school so any jobs that you guys did or like other ideas just leave a comment i would love to because you know i'm always looking for a new job i'm all i always keep a job honey that's the one thing about me i always need a side job <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time